What's going on Spartans? Welcome back and today I have a huge announcement for you. Starting to get better, but the real announcement I have is I'm going to start making this channel and my other channels a lot more interactive. So all my fans out there, please get active on my channel. I'm going to have you guys commenting, liking, answering questions. So for example, today I'm curious, what do you guys think of the update? What's your favorite part? Do you like the fact that Clan Wars is how you rank your clan up? Are you against this? Um, if you like this video, make sure to like it and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content, obviously guys. But as you can see, I'm actually going to be announcing today that this is my 300th video on this channel. What's up? So in honor of that, I made this special video showing a lot of guys from my clan doing some epic wars, or epic battles I should say, and I had this awesome, awesome PNG made of a Spartan King and a Spartan Barbarian, and they are super cool. Hopefully you enjoy all the new artwork on my channel. I want to fit it a lot more to who I am and how I uh, do my gaming. Now, as I told you guys in past episodes, if you want to see a lot of Clash of Clans, definitely go watch my Clash Army channel. That's going to be my main Clash of Clans channel with daily uploads to it. So do not miss that, guys. Make sure you go subscribe. There will be a link in the description below. But for our 300th video, we are actually coming up on our one-year mark in about a month, I believe. And I will be doing a giveaway for that. I may actually do a giveaway before then, just because I, uh, I, I don't know, 300 videos is kind of a big landmark for a Spartan, right guys? But uh, as you see, he won over 600,000 loot, 26 trophies, and 2,000 dark. How do you like these PNGs I have going up on screen? Uh, do you like those? Do you think that I should continue to do that, get more creative with it? Will that improve the viewership? Will that improve what you guys, or how you guys like the videos? Um, I don't know. Let's see. If we get a shit ton of likes on this video, I'll know that these are helpful. And if not, then I will uh, cease to do them. But let's just see. I'm curious what you guys think. Look, it's 800k loot showing on this base, and it's a Town Hall 9. He is garching, as we can see, and that's epic. Let's see how he does. But, guys, I really do appreciate you watching all 300 of my videos. If you missed any cool ones, make sure to go check them out. You can always just go to my video upload area and check out all the past videos. I have some really epic ones. Um, maybe I'll do a highlight one day where I find the best moments or whatever. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but I'm kind of waiting till that one year mark to do it. I want to do it for the one year for like 40k or 50k or something like that. I want to do it for a special occasion. Going to continue to grow on this channel. And uh, thanks so much for the support, guys. It really does mean a lot. And it has been a lot of fun. Now that I have three channels, though, we are going to be making the three channels very exclusive, meaning this channel will be the most interactive. Um, if you want to talk to me, you're going to want to be commenting on my channels. But you can also, I'll be very, very open to talking to people on this channel. Obviously, it'll be my main home channel at all times. However, the Clash Army will be our main Clash channel. So if you do love Clash of Clans, as I said, go check it out. Go watch, because that'll be where all the most epic Clash of Clans videos go. All my interactive videos will go here. All my fun gaming ones for Clash and other games will be on here also. So don't worry, guys. There will still be Clash on here. But I definitely recommend all our big Super Clash fans to go check out the Clash Army. And uh, World Zombination fans, obviously go to World Zombination Expert, which I will link in the description also. That will be a very fun game. If you haven't downloaded it yet, um, I'll put the download link in the description also. Go download it. It's awesome. It's my second favorite game next to Clash. And it's completely different. It's nothing like it. It's just a really good game to play when you uh, are trying to wait for your troops to upgrade. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean build, guys. Obviously, I mean build. What the heck am I talking about? Anyway, yeah. Great game to play, uh, whether you're waiting for troops to build or if you're just bored of Clash. I know myself, I play Clash too much sometimes, especially when I'm farming Dark. And I go for like two days without playing, and or a day. Like I just take a day off every like two weeks just because I can't play anymore. Like it's just too much, and I'm getting sick of it. But look at that, 800k loot. And when I do that, I play other games like Boom Beach, and I play uh, World Zombination, and uh, This Means War, and Plunder Pirates, and you know even Angry Birds or whatever on my phone if I'm on the, on the train. Uh, you know, fun games, just chill games that are just hanging out. Sometimes Tower Defense, you know, anything really fun is good to play. If you want to see any of those kinds of games, throw what kind of game you want to see in the comments below. And I'll also do a video where I ask people what they want to see on this channel in the future. Um, but, yeah, just tons of exciting stuff. I'll have a video coming out shortly, uh, probably this upcoming Friday or Saturday, explaining everything that's going to happen in this channel in the next few months and all my other channels. It'll be really exciting. I'll keep throwing hints about it and keep talking a little bit about what's going on um, in each video. But the main description 
analysis of my channels will be this weekend. So stay tuned for that. Look at this high speed raid, killing it with his loot, 260,000 of each so far, and just going for the rest. That king under that heal spell is just too OP. Look at him, just not even getting hurt. That is so awesome. Gotta love it. 89 almost. Come on, 89, 91. There we go. 91%. Can he get the three star? It looks like he might be able to. He does have three heal spells left. Is he gonna use them? I'd use that heal spell right now. It's getting really reckless. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, he ran out of time. 99% reckless. And about four five hundred K, excuse me, over five hundred K loot. Wow. Very good raid though. Definitely epic. Eat Plato. What's up, buddy? And uh yeah, he's actually been in the clan for a while. So thanks for staying for so long. I'm at 133,000 Dark Elixir, guys. And trying to get to 170 k so I can upgrade my queen to level 34. Oh my god, it's so exciting. It's so stressful, though. Ugh, 170 k Dark is just so much to farm. And I could do it today if I really wanted, but I'm not feeling well. And I just think I'm going to take a break, watch some Netflix. I don't know if you guys do that, but, you know, I'll probably end up raiding. Put my thing on boost and just start raiding randomly. Uh, here we go, though, with a random raid here from T-Bone on Eat Play-Doh. And look at this. He is going for it, man. He is using a strange mix of troops, and he's going to drop down what looks like a ton of hog riders. I'm curious when he's going to do that because these balloons are coming out now, and the queen's invisible, but she's... Oh, man, she's dead. What is going on? This looks like it's going to be an epic fail, guys. I have no idea. Let's just find out. I know I recorded this for a reason. Is this an epic fail? It might be. Let's see, though. He is drawing these uh, balloons out. And that's not the best idea because as the balloons fall, they do kill everything. And here we go. Oh, heal spell. What's going on? Oh, my God. These guys are going to do some work. And oh, my God. There's two balloons left. What? Go, oh, balloons. Kill them. Nice. The balloons are really recklessly strong against. Oh, big bombs. Boom. That's bad news. All right. So this is an epic fail, obviously. He did terrible here. He had every big bomb. And the balloons are just definitely not a good thing for hogs. They, hogs are fast. But when the hogs have to stop for a high health unit building, like, uh, for example, the Inferno or Expo, balloons have a chance to actually do a lot of damage and kill them all. So that is the positive. Now, as you can see, we do now have some skelly traps and, of course, the balloons coming out. Only a few minions left and some goblins on the enemy's side. And a couple of wizards, but these air bombs, man, he is just getting messed up. And it's definitely been an epic fail. I can't believe he spent that many troops and got nothing. It's a lot of Dark Elixir to lose for 10 Dark Elixir win. Yeah, that's, that's a rough, rough raid. I would not be happy. And these goblins aren't even going to get through this wall. So, a minus 25, and he got nothing out of it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If so, slap that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.